Okay. Holy crap! Step one. Load up Terraria. Small little update. <laughs> May as well take it. Not like we can get online otherwise. So it'll take a while. Alright, I can feel. Yes, it's done. Oh my god! <laughs> Finally. Alright, let's do this. Come on, fingers crossed. Yes! Step two. Though I assure you, this is the only way you're probably going to get enough luck to get this glitch. Bless your console. I used a special technique and I drew a demon circle on my hand. With one of the following, you can do so too. Your blood, or the blood of a baby, or the essence of Cthulhu. Luck may vary. Now all you need to do is bless the console. Yeah, yes, it is not we want to die or ever sniff never with us without itself. I have done ah! Step 3. Select your character and go into an existing world. I can't emphasize this enough. You need to choose an existing character and go into an existing world. This world needs to have at least one hour of playtime on it. Step 5. Place a workbench into a save. Now, I can't emphasize this enough. Again, you must make a workbench, a brand new workbench from normal wood. And head back to wherever your safe is. Clear your inventory of anything you don't need. Because you're going to need to remove anything from the safe that you want to keep. Because when you do this, whatever's in the safe vanishes. So beware that fact. To place it in the safe, it has to go in one of these four locations. It's one of these four right here. Otherwise, it won't work. After you have done that, you must save the game and exit to the Xbox dashboard. Step 4. Get your 20,000 defense workbench. This step couldn't be more simpler. You just need to log into the same world with the same character. Make sure you haven't logged into any other world. You've got to do these in the exact same steps I have followed. Step 1, 2, 3, 5, and 4. Obviously, you need to do this. I'm not going to show myself getting this workbench from the save because obviously you guys have all got it already. Because it's the same as me walking up to a tree and stroking it quite vibrantly. No one wants to see me stroking wood. So, I, I, those are the same reasons. Now, I hope you enjoyed. Take these workbenches and have fun destroying the Terraria community. To get this workbench in a more foolproof way, there's two ways. You can either mod a workbench from a computer and then log it into your Xbox, or you can glitch it back in 1.3. 1.3 was the most unstable version of Terraria. I found so many glitches there, it, it's absurd. So what you've got to do in 1.3, you've just got to throw out some files, chuck in some new ones, and this isn't modding, this is just deleting some files, and you're back in 1.3 Terraria. You won't be able to play online, but you'll be able to get the workbench. All you need to do is put a bunch of random stuff, dirt, pickaxes, helmets, any stuff that sort of lies around into the safe and random stuff will pop out like those those candles, that weird blade thingamajoo and the workbench. That's the only other way you can get it. Or when hacking, but who wants to hack? I didn't hack. Everyone calls me a hacker. I don't know how many comments I've gotten that's called me a hacker. It's probably 95% of the comments I've gotten. So if you want to get hacked, then keep keep doing that. Just just keep doing that.